So in case you guys haven't seen this movie yet, go see this dude in theaters. It is so freaking awesome. Like, it's, it's just amazeballs. What's up guys, Triple G here. So a lot of you have been asking me for updates about Zombie Type Revelations, aka ZAR, such as when is it coming out, can I help with it, what's it going to be about, etc, etc. So I'm here today trying to answer as many of those questions as I can without, of course, you know, spoiling it or basically answering questions that are within my knowledge, of course. So I'm here today going to try to answer as many of those questions as I possibly can and give you guys, you know, more of an update on the status of it because we've been a lot of progression with it. So without further ado, Here's an update. So firstly, I just want to apologize for the delay in videos. Basically, these last couple weeks I've been dealing with a really bad sickness. I had a really bad throat virus that I've been fighting, and it's still kind of there, but I'm still trying to, you know, get rid of it. So just bear with me on that. And it's been going around too. So for those of you guys that live in the US and hell, even people that I know in Europe have been getting sick, so make sure you guys are washing your hands, because there's a a bug flying around these days. I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, just be careful with that. And uh, because of that, that I haven't really been able to upload as much because it was actually really hard for me to talk. Luckily, though, that reaction video I filmed probably like a week ago or so, I was able to record that before I got sick, thankfully. So thank goodness that happened. And uh, the second thing is my computer actually got a virus recently. Woohoo! Fun, right? Oh, you PC gamers out there are probably like, oh, for fuck's sake. But yeah, I had a virus on it, but no worries, I got, that's not on there anymore. I was able to get rid of it, and luckily all my data is backed up, so I didn't lose any of my data. It's just the process of, you know, reinstalling everything, so I'm still doing that. It's just taking me a bit of time to get, you know, everything back and squared away. And plus, my personal life, I've been super, super busy lately. In fact, I've been busier this month than I have been in, like, the past year, so... It's been really crazy for me, so again, apologize for the delay in videos, but I do plan to make a lot more pretty soon. So with that out of the way, I'll get back to those uh, future videos coming up here in a second. So what's going on with Zombie Attack Revelations, aka ZAR? So basically the two biggest questions people have been asking me are this. So the first one is, when is it coming out? Second one is, can I help with it? So the answer to the first question, when is it coming out? I don't really have an answer for you guys because, again, it's still in production right now. We're still planning everything out. Filming hasn't been done yet, but I do plan to film it soon. When we are going to film it, I'll definitely let you guys know so that if you do want to help, you can definitely get online and help us film it. But as of right now, I don't really have an answer as far as a release date or anything like that. My plan, though, is going to be releasing the third teaser trailer for Revelations later this month, so probably like the end of March, you guys will see uh, another teaser trailer for it. And then for April, you'll probably see the last teaser trailer. And then for May, will be the official trailer. That's my plan, so don't quote me on that, but that is my plan, that we are going to have the official trailer in May, and also the official trailer, I'm probably gonna save for the release date of the actual series until the official trailer comes out. So don't expect the release date in any update videos or anything, because it's more than likely gonna be in the official trailer. And if it's not in there, then it'll probably be in another trailer or, prom or promo sometime down the road. Either way, stay tuned for that, because I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Again, the best way to have updates on the series is to follow the Facebook page for Zombie Attack series. A link to that is in the description below. It's the easiest way to get updated on it, because it's a hell of a lot easier for me to go on there and make updates than make videos about it so definitely uh, like that page and whatnot also follow me on twitter that's a really good idea too is to follow me on twitter because i can keep you guys updated on there and of course people have been begging me can i help with it etc etc absolutely you can there's two ways you can help so the first way is of course body acting body acting is basically just helping us be in the actual game and helping us be a character essentially or a background character whatever the case may be essentially that's what a body actor is so if you guys want to help with that i am going to let you guys update it again on the facebook page and twitter when we are going to be filming so make sure you follow me on those pages and i'll let you guys know when the filming times are going down although just so you guys know if you do want to body act you of course have to have a few things so firstly you have to have an xbox one because that's what we're going to be filming on the second thing is you have to have gta 5 of course 
The third thing is you need to be available when we're filming. So I usually have a set date when we're going to be filming, and I really do plan out like pretty far ahead when we're going to film, so it's not like a last minute thing. I usually plan out really far ahead and give you guys a set date when we're starting, so you don't have to worry about being rushed or anything like that. So of course, being available and being ready to go when we're ready to film is of course a huge one. And of course you have to have a controller, you have to have a television, I'm just kidding. You guys know that's common sense. But yeah, those are the key things, the next box one, GTA, and you have to be able to be available when we're about to film. The second way you guys can help is by voice acting. Now in case you guys didn't see my previous video on why Alpha Protocol was cancelled, in case you guys haven't seen that, be sure to check that video out. Again, link to that video in the description below. But basically if you guys haven't heard that voice auditions for the series are still currently open. I've had them open since I made that video and they're still ongoing. I received a ton of requests. I've received more requests than I have for any other video project I've done, including Zombie Tag Legacies and any other project I've done. I've received a crap ton of requests, so please guys, keep those requests coming. If you guys want to send more auditions, just one, you absolutely can. It's perfectly fine with me. But if you don't hear from me like right away after you send it, don't feel discouraged or anything because, again, I'm a very busy guy. It'll probably take me a while before I'm able to, you know, get to it and listen to the audition and whatnot. The easiest way to send your audition to me is to email your auditions to me. My email address is going to be here. It's also going to be in the description below. So if you guys want to be a voice actor for the series for main character, zombie, whatever you want, go ahead and send your auditions below. The actual characters I haven't really released yet, so you can really audition for anybody that you like or you can just sound like anybody that you want to, and if I think your voice would suit a certain character, then I'll assign you to that one. So again, if you guys want to help, send me those lines to the email address, and I'll try to get back to you guys with those auditions as soon as I can. But until further notice, auditions are open, so please keep those auditions coming. I really appreciate it. Now for a little behind the scenes stuff, so me and my executive producer, Super Scourge 300, we've actually planned out the entire series. And what I mean by that is we know exactly what's going to be happening in every single episode of the series. So I can tell you guys that this series is going to be the longest zombie attack series you guys have seen. It's going to contain 13 episodes. So instead of just the usual 10, it's going to have 13 episodes. Now, that is, I imagine that's probably going to excite a lot of you guys, but the main reason why it's going to have more episodes this time around than it has for previous series is we're doing something very interesting this time. What we're actually going to be doing for this series, because since this is the final chapter of the series, the final chapter in this entire saga, that of course we imagine that the ending probably wouldn't please everybody. Now, we already wrote out the ending, and I do think it's a good ending myself, but of course you can't please everybody. So, not just because of that, but just for, you know, shits and giggles and why not, we're going to be doing something very original that we haven't really done before. And what would mean by that is we're actually going to be filming alternate endings for the series. Now, this was Colin's idea, Super Square 300, which I thought is a pretty neat idea. So basically, episode 11 is going to be an alternate ending, and episode 12 is going to be the other alternate ending, while episode 13 is going to be the true ending. Thus, that's why there's going to be 13 episodes in the series. So it's going to be pretty interesting. So, of course, though, the two alternate endings are not really going to be canon. They're not really going to be part of the actual story. They're just kind of there to let you guys know, hey, this is what would happen if, you know, the series went down this path, and this is what would happen if the series went down this path. So it's just interesting to see, you know, what would happen, and what would the outcome be with all these characters in the world and everything, what would actually happen. So it's going to be pretty interesting to actually see that and be, be able to actually film it and then of course you'll see the true ending which is the actual canon ending to the whole thing and again I can't wait to film that I'm, I'm sure you guys are gonna be really excited to see that everything about the series is gonna be a lot bigger so the cast is gonna be bigger the episodes gonna try to make them longer they'll probably be just the length as zombie type legacies if not they'll probably be a little bit longer uh, so again the cast is gonna be bigger and there's gonna be a lot more story every single character is going to we're basically going to do what we have with uh, Armageddon is we're going to be having all the characters best themselves and be the best possible character that we can possibly make them make sure that they get developed as much as possible not just thrown on the screen for the sake of having a character we're going to have the biggest 
biggest oh shit moments, we're going to have the coolest zombie types, and with all these updates to GTA 5 that have came out, we're going to have the coolest weapons, vehicles, you name it, it's going to be amazing. What I'm really excited for too is being able to use the Rockstar Editor, so the series will look a hell of a lot more like an actual machinima than it has in the past, and it'll have more of a cinematic feel because of that. Now, I'm not going to be filming the entire series with every single episode with the Rockstar Editor, just a heads up. I'm primarily going to use the Rockstar Editor for scenes that need it, so this will be like the action scenes, the epic scenes, the really dramatic scenes, etc. So like the scenes that contain dialogue and whatnot probably won't contain, you know, editing of the Rockstar Editor, but the scenes that need it, especially the action scenes, are definitely going to take advantage of it, so I'm really excited to use that. And right now, I am working on the script for the first episode, I'm taking my time with it, making sure that I can have it be as good as I possibly can, I don't want to rush it, you know, I want to make sure that it's going to be amazing, and of course, I'm going to have my production crew look over it, and we might make some changes to it, but I'm working on it right now, so that way we can move forward with it, and I'm, I'm super excited to finally be able to start this thing, and I'm sure you guys are even more excited to see it. So again, guys, thank you so much for your patience and of your support. I really appreciate it. I have never been, you know, so excited to film anything on my channel than I have with this before. I've received so much positive feedback and so much hype has been coming on to me with, you know, people asking me all these questions and telling me how excited they are. It's a really great feeling. So none of this would be possible without you guys, plain and simple. I wouldn't, you know, have the incentive to do this if it wasn't for you guys. So. Again, thank you all so much for your support. Alright, so that is the bulk of what I wanted to talk about with Zombie Tiger Revelations. I want to go ahead and talk about stuff that I plan to film outside of that. So, me and my friends are planning to do a Halo 2 walkthrough because I always plan to do that, but never really got around to it because I always wanted to do a co-op walkthrough of it. But I haven't really had anybody, you know, available to do it because me and my friends have always been, you know, really busy people. But I plan to do that. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback about my reaction videos, so I do plan to make more of those. And me and my friend are actually planning, can't really tell you guys much about it, but we're planning to do a remix of a song. And um, I can't really say much about it, but I do think it's going to be a really great and hilarious idea. Can't go too much into it because I don't want to, you know, ruin it, but... Me and him are working on a song of a pretty popular series from HBO, which I mean, I probably just gave it away right there because the internet's so smart, but we are planning on uh, working on a remix of a song, and it's going to be hilarious, so I can't wait to show that off to you guys. But again, that's the majority of the videos that I'm going to be making. Again, stay tuned on my Twitter. It's the best way to stay updated for videos on my channel, stay updated on my Facebook page for the updates on Zombie Tech Revelations, keep those auditions coming guys, I really appreciate it for those voice acting lines. Again, thank you guys so much for your patience, all your support, we really appreciate it. So stay tuned to my channel for the Zombie Tech Revelations. I, I was literally like a centimeter away from knocking my camera over. <sighs> Alright, see you guys later. You may be wondering why the red suit? Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. It's, it's, it's from the movie. Get it? Go, go see this movie. Go, go see it. It's Amazeballs.